G'day and welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Today we're looking at December 17th, 2024's Palindrome Sudoku by Clover. Clover's one of us, those who are at Gas HQ, so am I. My name is Bill Murphy. G'day, how you doing? Uh, sorry, I'm looking at like my own face in the camera and I'm like, did I get sunburned today? I was in the sun for like 35, 40 minutes. Um, yeah, I, oh yeah, I signed an affidavit saying, saying I can't talk about anything I saw today. Um, but rest assured, uh, Australia's future is in very safe hands, question mark. Um, <laughs> wow, I just, that just has no context at all, uh, regarding, uh, renewable energy is what I mean. Um, all right. Uh, yeah, we're gas. Genuinely approachable Sudoku. We create set and solve genuinely approachable Sudoku for you, the viewer watching this. Yeah, that's right. You. Um, you can find the link to today's puzzle in the description down below. You will also find hat times. Two hats is for a pretty, pretty dang good time. One hat is for a also pretty good time. And everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally. Um, that being said, let's get into it. So, uh... Normal Sudoku rules apply. So each bo yeah, 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 yeah. each box, each uh, row, and each column uh, uh, must contain the digits one to nine once each. Wow, you can tell it's my, I, I just finished work for the year. Like, not a very long time ago. You, you can tell. Um, all right. Uh, you will also notice that we have some gray lines in the grid. Along these gray lines... Each of these forms a palindrome. That is, they uh, read the same backwards and forwards. That's it. That's all you need to know to solve today's puzzle. Uh, you should give it a go in the description down below. Uh, I am going to give it a go now. Now, I'm going to try and do this whole puzzle without coloring because you shouldn't need it today. Um, if you color, I'm not going to be mad. Uh, but these two cells are at... Uh, at the end of each palindrome, C3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, so these are both 1 and 2. And this 1 over here tells us that they go around this way. 1 and 2. Now, we know that this has to be 7, 8, 9. Because that's what's left to place in column 1. Uh, and this also has to be 7, 8, 9. Now, can't put 7 in any of those cells. So that's 7. Uh, now, we also know that 3, 4, 5 have to go along here. Uh, we know that that has to be 3, and this is 4 and 5. Uh, that's 3. Now, we can do the same thing in the reverse direction. Now, uh, those cells uh, see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and this 9 tells us which way around the 8 and 9 go. Uh, 9 and 8, which unwinds 8, 9, 9, 8. Now, uh, we have to place a 5 and a 6 in these two cells, and a 1 and a 2 here. Uh, but we have a 1 here, which tells us how this palindrome resolves. Now, uh, buh, 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 uh, hmm, where do I want to look? Uh, we don't quite have enough information to do uh, that box or this box. So, uh, we can't quite do that box either. Um, but let's, wait, yo, yo. I mean, I know that this has, oh, actually, I'm trying to, okay, this is not, I think, the intended step, but, you know, we can do this regardless. What's this cell? And the answer is, uh, it's a six. Now, question becomes, how did I know that? Whatever this cell is can't go in those two cells, so it must go here, meaning it is either five or six. Um, yeah. So, that cell has to go here. It can't be a five, because we already have that one up here. So, all of those digits are six, and this one is five. Uh, now, I can probably do the same thing along here. I sure can. That's a four, five. Uh, that's a four, five. Uh, because that digit has to go there in that box. Uh, it also has to go there along the palindrome, which means that's four, uh, five, and four. Uh, bah, 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 bah. 
Uh, what's this digit? Uh, what are these two digits? Well, they can't be... Uh, I need to place one, two, three, four in that box. I have one and four here, meaning this has to be two and three. Yeah, two and three. I like the sound of that. Uh, and that is one and four. Uh, where does five go in column three? Five has to go here, uh, meaning this is seven or eight. Uh, one here tells us which way around those go. And uh, six over here tells us which way around that six, seven goes. Uh, now, I have to place a six, seven, eight, nine uh, along this palindrome. Uh, I can't place a six and a nine there because that just can't go on those cells. So that's seven, eight. Uh, oi, 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 what have I done? No, that's not right. Oh, yes, it is. It's fine. Sorry. Um, in Sudoku, uh, we need to be very wary of this pattern, but uh, it will resolve itself for reasons I will get into. But um, that is what we would call a deadly pattern because it would mean there is more than one sol solution in this puzzle. Uh, this has to be one, two, three, and nine. Uh, nine and one go there. This is a two and three. Uh, seven and eight in these two cells uh, mean that this is a five. Uh, four over here means that that's three and four. And now let's do some Sudoku in the middle. Three, seven, five. Ta-da! Uh, so uh, that resolves all of our palindromes and leaves us with just classic Sudoku. Uh, three and two, and now it's just singles to the end. So um, this has been Palindrome Sudoku by Clover. Uh, my name is still Dre. Um, and I will catch you next time. Cheers.